We have a juice shop website with us. Let's try to deface it. If you don't know what defacing is, it simply means changing the content of a website so that whenever any user goes to the website, they see the content that has been put there by the hacker instead of the actual website. There are obviously many ways to deface a website, but in this video, I'm going to show you something called as cross-site scripting, short for XSS. To be more specific, I'm going to show you stored XSS, which is one of the types of cross-site scripting attacks. Before getting started, I want to make it clear that the website that I'm hacking today is not a real website. It's an open source web application that is built to be vulnerable to numerous vulnerabilities. I made a few modifications to this open source app to help me perform my demonstration. Do not try this on a real application, at least without prior permission from the owner or the admin of the website. If you want to try this yourself, stick until the end of the video to learn how to set up this juice shop website on your local machine and practice your hacking skills on it. Before getting started, here is a quick word about the sponsors of this video. This video is sponsored by Fing. Fing is an awesome network administration tool that lets you manage your home network like a pro. With Fing, you can see all the devices connected to your Wi-Fi, see their statuses, their IP addresses, and you can even get notifications when devices go offline or when new devices join your network. You can also control your Wi-Fi network by blocking unknown devices, limiting internet time for individual devices, and even schedule internet downtimes for your Wi-Fi users. Fing also comes with an inbuilt security scanner which scans for outdated and vulnerable software installed on your routers and gives you suggestions on how to fix it. Fing is available for both computer and mobile and it's a must-have tool if you like to monitor your network for suspicious activity and keep it secure at the same time. So go ahead and give it a try, the link will be in the description below. Okay, let's first observe the website. The home page shows a list of juices with the corresponding prices. When I click on an item, I can also see the reviews left by other customers for that item. The review has two parts, the username of the customer and the review message itself. We will try to inject an XSS payload in the place of the username so that the payload will be reflected on the home page of the website and we could potentially change the content of the home page with this attack. So. First, let me create a new account and then log in. I will go to my profile and here is the option to change my username. Instead of giving a normal input, I will give something enclosed in an HTML tag, like the bold tag for example, which makes the text bold. When I click set username, you can see that my input, which is a HTML value, is actually embedded in the website's source code because the text is made bold. This is what XSS is. We basically try to inject a HTML value as the input and the HTML ends up actually becoming the part of the website's source code. But instead of a bold tag, we will try to insert a script tag using which we can execute JavaScript code on the user's browser. As you might know, using JavaScript, you can also change the content of the website by accessing the DOM. So, you kind of get the big picture here, right? We are trying to inject a script tag into the username field with some JavaScript code to change the content of the website. In other words, deface the website. When the username, which contains our script tag with the JavaScript code, is saved on the database, it is served to everyone who is visiting the website. And as we already know, the home page of the website displays the items and the reviews, which contains the username of the user who left that review. So we can just change our username by injecting an XSS payload that changes the content of the website and then leave a review on one of the items on the homepage. And voila, our XSS payload will now be served to anyone who visits the homepage of the website and the JavaScript code is executed on their browser, which in turn defaces the website. That's exactly what we're going to do. But first, we need to figure out our XSS payload. Let me start by writing a script tag with a simple alert statement like this. It did not work. You can see that the script tag is trimmed off from the input. This is because there is probably some kind of input sanitization going on in the backend. But let's try to bypass it. What if we insert an additional script tag 
at the beginning like this. As expected, the additional script tag at the beginning got removed, but the S from the second script tag also got removed. Let's compensate this by adding an additional S in the second script tag like this. Hmm, still not perfect. We still need to compensate for the angular bracket that is also removed. So I will add an additional angular bracket at the beginning like this. And let's try this. Voila, the XSS worked as you can see an alert pop up on the screen. Awesome, so now if I go back to the home page, leave a review for one of the items on the home page, log out and then log back in, you can again see the alert pop up. This means that my XSS payload is also reflected on the home page of the website in place of the username field. That's great news. Now let me go ahead and actually change the content of the website or in other words, deface the website. I will create a new file called script.js and using the magic of JavaScript, I will write an instruction that replaces the whole HTML of the website with the text hacked. Now I simply host the script.js file locally with a Python HTTP server and then for the XSS payload, instead of writing actual JavaScript code inside the script tag, I will just link my locally hosted script.js file that I just created using the src attribute like this. This way I can change the behavior of my payload by just modifying my JavaScript file instead of changing the username again and again. And that's it. I log out, log back in and click on any item on the home page. And would you look at that? The home page just got defaced. This means the script that I've written actually got executed on the user's browser. In this case, my browser, but it kind of looks lame, doesn't it? Let's make it look a little more cooler. This time I'm also including a cool background image. As soon as I modify and save my script, the changes will also be reflected on the website because my script.js file is loaded on the website by my XSS payload. You can see that the changes are actually reflected. So easy, isn't it? We have successfully defaced this website using stored cross-site scripting. Now, whoever visits this website is going to see this page instead of the actual website. How cool is that, right? Now, I promised you that I'm also going to show you how to set up this app for yourself so that you can practice your skills or do what I did in this video yourself. In order to set up this app on your computer, you just have to install Docker. Go to docker.com and install Docker for your operating system. It can be Windows, Mac or Linux. Once installed, simply pull the image of the modified juice shop app from Docker Hub using this command. I will also include this command in the description below. And once the image is downloaded, start a new container of the image with this command right here. And this will make your app available for you to use at HTTP localhost colon 3000. And that's it. Enjoy hacking. That'll be all for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something new. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.